Hey y'all, this is Tasty Topics, and I'm your host, Marshall Robinson. Today I'm having some buddies over to make tarp slip and slides and play cornhole. I'm figuring they'll build up quite an appetite, so I'm gonna wrestle up some grub. Today I'll be making fried chicken, ice cream, and waffles. So, let's get cooking. The three ingredients to the dry rub for our fried chicken include salt, pepper, and Meemaw's secret ingredient. Some say her secret ingredient was love, but we all know it's really dead skin from her antique couch. Let's get this going. Now, these chicken breasts are ready to fry, so let's get that going. Alrighty, well Meemaw's recipe calls for 8 cups of oil. But since we're in this non-fat, low-fat, hippy-dippy revolution, we're going to go with four cups of oil and four cups of kerosene. Kerosene will just melt the calories right off of it. We're just going to add our kerosene. Kobe. 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 Well, we believe in the five-second rule, so it's probably good enough to throw back in. Um, to our back here. All right, we got that going. That does not look good. We need to run at the store. Hey, hey, cut the video! We're gonna get our waffles cooking soon because the boys gotta be here within an hour or two. Gotta get that cornhole rolling. Um... Cut! Gracious, somebody give me a drink and a better job. Maybe you wouldn't be playing redneck chef in a tray or kitchen if you had actually gone to culinary school. Maybe I'd break the glass ceiling if you kept the boom mic out of the shot, Thomas! You piece of <laughs> So, the waffle ingredients for this is uh, pretty typical. You got your milk, you got your butter, and you got your eggs and flour. But since we like to conserve in my household, we're gonna use the milk that we, uh, what do you call it, dump the chicken in. It's a, it's a little bit gross, but it'll work, so we're gonna pour that in. Now what makes this Meemaw special waffles is that little bit of chew we put in there by putting in, yeah, you guessed it, rubber cement. Um, that stuff is toxic. Did I ask Thomas? No, but the health inspector. Take your Californian regulations and get out of here. Now that we fired Thomas, we can continue with our cooking operation here. So, for a soft waffle, you're going to want to cook it for about 10 to 20 minutes. That's how I like to do it. If you want a crispy waffle, anything over 20, it's probably going to do it for you. We'll just get this loaded up real quick. Uh, look at that. Mm-mm. Alright, well it looks like our waffles are ready. Or waffle, that is. Let's take a look. I know you viewers back at home want a taste of this. Well, this really was a tasty topic, now wasn't it? I hope you guys tune into our The Health Inspector's here! Scatter, scatter!